This week we're looking at rusty cars and in particular we're going to look at what's okay rust and what is bad rust on cars. Now most cars are made of steel and so that means that if the metal of the bodywork is exposed to water and air it will corrode. So we generally paint cars to protect them and in fact modern cars are actually Zintec coated to give them further protection against the elements. So with that knowledge you can predict where things are going to go rusty particularly if they're exposed to accident damage and day-to-day -day wear and tear. So you can see on here it's had a bit of a bump, the metal's exposed and it's going rusty. So that's not too good. But we've also got rust on cars that's okay and if we look at things like engines and gearboxes which are made of like really thick metal that's kind of cosmetically not very nice but there's no problems whatsoever with the corrosion on the large articles like that on the car. However, if we look at cars maybe that are starting to go a little bit frilly around the edges from stone chips like on wheel arches and on doors and uh, things like that, that's not very good and that left will go into a hole. However, corrosion underneath cars and the body parts, if it's left and it goes into holes, that can be very expensive and also it'll fail an MOT because any corrosion that goes into a hole that's within 30 centimetres of a structural mounting point, maybe to do with the brakes or suspension, will fail an MOT. And any repairs to those areas must be seam welded and that's particularly expensive on things like classic cars. Now, if you're buying a car, any car pre-1990 has pretty much got hidden rust on it. Anything after that, they're very, very well protected and do last a lot longer. But if you do find any corrosion on a modern car, then you can suspect that maybe uh, it's had some accident damage at some point and not been repaired very well. But just bear in mind that if you are going to buy a car, that maybe any corrosion that you do find, you maybe get a quote for to make sure it's not too expensive because it is very, very dear to repair. I'll be back next week with more top tips to keep your motors running.